gymnast Max Whitlock, who made history last night when he secured bronze in a nail-biting final of the all-round gymnastics. 108 years until since we've had a medal in the gymnastics. It's been great. It's been great. Breakfast Holly Hamilton is at Max's club in Basildon this morning. And they do it then. Up early training, Holly. Have you been having a go? Morning. Absolutely. First thing on the ropes, I can tell you. They're really impressed. They think they're going to sign me up for the next Olympics. Now, I think I'll stay well clear of it. So last night, if you were watching, it was so tense, honestly. I mean, right up into the last round, we still weren't sure whether Max Whitlock was going to get a medal, let alone get the bronze. But it was Japan, unfortunately, who clinched the gold. But that was an athlete, Uchimura, that Max Whitlock would spend hours watching on YouTube back when he was training here at South Essex Gymnastics Club, just like these guys here. But last night when he spoke to us, he said he still couldn't believe it, but he's already looking to the next competition. And it is all about the next competition, isn't it? But last night watching it, Matt, head coach here, you have worked so hard with Max over the years. You've, you've trained with him. What was it like watching that last night? It was so, so exciting. Really, really tense on our edge of our seats all night watching the competition. Really, really exciting. Uh, seeing Max uh, compete in the all-around competition and uh, clench that bronze medal was just uh, fantastic, really good. Now, the all-round, sorry, the floor competition, that was the final thing that he did in the all-round and that's one of his strongest, strongest competitions. Did you think he had it in the bag when you watched him? It was really hard to tell. I mean, Max yeah, does an amazing floor routine, so really, really exciting to watch. Uh, like I said, on the edge of the seat all the, the whole way through, waiting to see if he nailed all of the landings. But, yeah, we, we pretty much knew that he was going to do a really good job, yeah. And this is coming off the back of Sunday's disappointment, coming fourth in the team competition. I mean, that's quite difficult, isn't it, to, to get dust yourself off and get back on the, on, on the horse, literally? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the team competition was a little bit of a disappointment, but to, like you said, brush, to brush themselves off, pick themselves up, get ready for the for the all-around final, uh, Max has come back Style. fighting strong and, and done a really, really good job. And he's already looking ahead to the next competition. Do you think we can get another medal, if not two, possibly? Uh, I, it would be amazing, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that Max can, Max can do it. I mean, his, his favourite piece is, is the pommel horse. Being current world champion, uh, moving forward into the uh, Olympic pommel final will be the, the, the day to be watching, yeah. Brilliant. Well, later on, we're going to be speaking to some of, of the future stars of gymnastics. I might even have a go myself, but at the minute, I think I'm going to leave it to the experts. I'll stick to the floor, if anything else. I'm not going up there. Yeah, there are backflips you could do. Look, watch this one, just next to you. Get, yeah. get that young, just, young just, lady that's to exactly give you a lesson. exactly the way I do it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly hey, how I do it. She did a good job of the shooting yesterday, Holly, didn't she? I'm sure yeah. she'll be... Give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> Holly, <laughs> thanks.